we introduced cap contact, a novel method to precisely infer the contact area between the user's finger and the surface from a single capacitive image. There are more than 3 billion smartphones in the world that use capacitive sensing for touch input. Capacitive sensors measure the proximity of close by objects that change the electric field between the sensor lines. The resolution of these sensors is determined by the primary purpose, which is to reliably detect touch events and to discriminate adjacent touches. Therefore, a standard of around 4 mm spacing between grid lines has emerged in the industry. This pitch is insufficient, however, when fingers move too close and the resulting intensities merge. And it's cases like these where we really care about precise contact areas and not just touch locations. Of course, capacitive sensing was never designed to determine precise contact. In the HCI community, we've been at this point before, where researchers played with diffuse illumination systems, but it wasn't until the arrival of FDIR that we could work with true contact areas and distinguish touches reliably. And this is what inspired our work. With CAP contact, we propose a single image super resolution method that estimates high resolution contact masks from low resolution capacitive intensities. CAP contact implements a generative adversarial network that comprises a convolutional neural network with five residual blocks. These blocks are connected to three consecutive subpixel convolutional layers that upsample the image with a factor of eight. Due to the fully convolutional architecture, we can feed capacitive frames of any size into CAP contact. To train our supervised method, we call a training corpus with matched pairs of capacitive touch frames and high resolution images of the corresponding contact areas. For this, our rig integrates FTIR into the capacitive sensor. We first mounted a transparent touch panel upside down onto the acrylic surface. The connected digitizer resolved changes in mutual capacitance at 16 bit resolution. We added a sheet of acrylic on top, illuminated by two LED strips to complete the FTIR setup. The webcam below the surface then captured the contact areas as they lit up due to the touch events. For data collection, we recruited 10 participants that performed 10 different touch gestures. In total, the full dataset has over 26,000 different pairs of synchronized frames. With the FDIR and capacitive images as input, the currently existing default implementation with a threshold produces an area that is way too large, just as expected. In contrast, cap contact reaches a contact area size with less than 3% difference from the actual area. Using our dataset, we also optimized a learned threshold that minimizes this error across all samples, but it still produces a much worse outcome than cap contact. In terms of discriminating adjacent contacts, the baseline often blends them, resulting in F1 score of only 0.69, whereas cap contact achieves an F1 score of 0.93. Again, our learned threshold achieves an accuracy that is in between both. As a side effect of reconstructing contact areas, the touch input locations we can derive from cap contact are much closer to the true contact center than the center of gravity of the capacitive measurements. For full details, please see the paper. Because we're working with super resolution, we also conducted experiments on images at just half the input resolution, so twice the pitch. And still, cap contact produced contact areas that separated touches with an F1 score that was much higher than the baseline achieved on full resolution images. To double check cap contact's capability to work on half resolution sensors, we ran our network on Project Sensibar, a sensor with a larger grid line pitch. Here, cap contact robustly detected contact areas even under noisy conditions, successfully rejecting false inputs and solely preserving actual touch contacts. As you can see, the threshold based method suffers from mistouches as well as noise due to the flexible surface. In conclusion, we have introduced the first investigation of deriving actual contact shapes from mutual capacitance sensing. Our data-driven method cap contact estimates the contact area from a single capacitive image, reliably discriminating adjacent touches and bringing input locations closer to the center of true contact, even when applied to a sensor with just half resolution. We think that cap contact opens up many opportunities for future touch devices. For example, to reliably distinguish hover and touch, to operate on much lower resolution sensor with higher pitches, and to produce higher touch input accuracy. You can find all materials on ziplab.org where we have released the dataset and code.